Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Ed Hoddle Show for the 2024 season as the Mustangs get ready for Thursday Night Lights here at Mustang Stadium as they take on the props of Rowan University. I'm James Wagner, Assistant AD for Athletic Communication. As always, Head Football Coach Ed Hoddle. And Ed, uh, how'd camp go this year? Um, it was good. It was hot. We had a couple of, uh, a couple of days with some significant humidity, which made it uh, – pretty uncomfortable um i enjoy those days the most because it, it tests you a little bit um but it was good we got out fairly injury free and we're excited moving into the season starting off we'll talk about the team a little bit the offensive set what can we expect out of the offense this year well you know i think it's it, it's a simple formula it's the ability to run the ball the ability to stop the run on the defensive side so um you know that's gonna that's been our focus that's gonna remain our focus um it, it's kind of been a trademark of who we are so to speak and um, you know, we've got to match physicality. We've got to be the more physical team on the field every Saturday. But in turn to the defense, obviously the defense had a good year last year. What can we expect out of the defense this year? Uh, a little youthful. Um, you know, losing uh, some of the guys we lost last year uh, to graduation um, has left us some holes. Uh, you know, but the competition has been, been good. Guys have gotten after it. Um, I think we've done a good job competing on a daily basis. And um, I'm excited to see, you know, what those guys bring Thursday night. And finally, the special teams, you got a new kicker, a new punter this year. How has special teams been? Uh, about the same as the defense. Um, still some questions to be answered. Um, guys need to get some game experience under their belt, underneath the lights, so to speak. And um, But we're excited. You know, it's a youthful group, but it's a group that I think can uh, can – can rise to the challenge. With that youthful group looking at the MAC schedule, obviously you were in every MAC game last year. Uh, a lot of them within the losses were within one score. What is your outlook on the MAC this year, and how do you see you got you guys in the mix of the MAC? Uh, you know, it's a week to week league. You know, I, it truly is. Anybody can beat anybody on any given Saturday, and you know. But I think that being said, you know, until somebody knocks off the four or five or six time defending champion. Um, it's Del Val's league, you know, so to speak. So, um, you know, we've got to focus on one game at a time, and, and that'll start here in a couple of days, you know, once we once we move past the opener and get right into conference play. But, you know, it'll be a challenge. It, it's, it's a strong league. I think it's gotten stronger. Um, there's been a turnover in some, uh, some of the coaching staffs. Um, so, you know, some new ideologies, some new schemes we're going to have to adapt to. Um, hard to believe that I'm the longest tenured coach in the league at this point. I remember, you know, some of the original guys, the Jim Monos of the world mm -hmm. and yep. uh, the Jimmy Clements of the world, yes. you know, kind of sitting at the table, keeping my mouth shut. And now I'm the guy that's been around the longest. But it's a great league. Um, excited to get into it here in a couple couple of weeks. And, you know, we'll see how it goes. Let's turn attention to Rowan, obviously playing on a Thursday night. Rowan with the new head coach, Pat Ruley, who came from Susquehanna, uh, a successful program taking over a longtime coach, Gia Corsi. Uh, you've probably seen the props on film. What can we expect out of the props tonight? Um, you know, unfortunately, you know, we, we don't exchange scrimmage film. Um, so we're kind of going off of last year a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the entirety of the staff hasn't turned over. There's some parts that are still there. Um, you know, so we're looking at some of the things that, um, that they did last year. But we also know, you know, we've got to be pre be prepared for the unexpected. You know, uh, again, new head coach, um, different ideology, uh, different teams' looks. So, you know, we're going in, you know, prepared to make changes fairly quickly. And finally, obviously playing the Thursday night game is great under the lights, the excitement, the crowd. One thing, one is one of the challenges of that, because you came back to camp early and you had the early days. Is there a challenge of opening up on a Thursday night in week one? Um, you know, I think it's, I, I think it's a trade-off. I think it's great for the students. Um, I think it's great for our athletes, albeit, you know, we do have some Thursday night classes. So, you know, our guys got to kind of work ahead on the academic side of things. Um, that, you know, playing a Thursday night game presents challenges on Friday. You've got to get up. If you've got an 8 a.m. English class, we expect you to be in that 8 a.m. English class. So, you know, it does present some academic challenges, and our faculty has been awesome working with our guys and, um, you know, as far as the class excuse stuff goes and, and working with them to, to help them make up the work that they're going to miss and, and helping them to work ahead. So, um, you know, outside of that, it's just game day. Well, good luck tonight, Coach. Thank you very much. All right, week one coming up. It's Stevenson and Rowan, Thursday Night Lights. And by the way, we were up first. The Ravens picked second. So I'd just like everybody to know that, that we picked our Thursday Night game first. But go Ravens, go Stangs, and we'll talk to you next week.